Hello YouTube, LookDude5 here, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be going over button and redstone torch compression. So basically I'm going to show you how to make, how to uh, compress buttons, and how to compress redstone torches. So first of all I want to go over this method right here. So we're just going to come over here, and so what is this for? This method is for if you have, say, a doorbell by your house or something, and you want it to be on the second level. Because normally you can just put a button on the first level, and you can put redstone under it, and then have it go from there. But I don't think buttons look very good when they're on the first level. I think they look better when they're up one level. So this is going to be how to get the redstone underground or wherever you need to go without taking up too much space. So normally, you might do it like this. You might just make a little trail of redstone down behind. But that takes up quite a bit of space to get down under. That takes up three blocks and then four. So, and then when you actually want to get down under, you have to leave it just like that. Because if you cover this up, it'll cut off the trail of redstone. So it takes four blocks behind the button to actually get it down where you can have it go underground. But with this method, it only takes two, I think. So you want to have your button, and on the back side of the material where your button is, put a redstone torch. And if we press this button, you can see the redstone torch switches states. So underneath the redstone torch, you're going to put, want to put some redstone. And if we push this button, the redstone changes. But this is actually now inverted we want this to turn on and also it's not far enough underground yet so you just want to destroy two right in front of the redstone and do the same thing again redstone torch and redstone so now we can come see I'll just press this really fast see it went on for a second if you saw that so now when we press the button this will turn on and it only took two blocks to get underground and we can cover it up like that so the only thing is, redstone torches, they actually take up more time. Um, it'll, it'll take about two ticks longer than this, but it's, it's, it's barely noticeable. So, that is how to do that part. Okay, next I'm going to be going over how to put buttons right next to each other and have them still activate four different things or however many buttons. So each of these buttons activates a different redstone torch right here this one right there this one up there this one over there and this one up there and you can see when I press them it activates only that redstone torch it doesn't activate any of the others so if we come look at the wiring you can see that this is the wiring there's no other wiring it's very simple actually and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'll give myself some green wool. And we're gonna do this with four buttons. So you have your four buttons. And now we're just going to wire this all up. So this is just one of the ways to do this. But make sure that one block behind is level with the buttons. So choose two and then just put redstone behind them and then you can just run that out along wherever you want to go. So now we want to actually connect the other two but if we just do that you can see all the redstone connects and if we press one button all the redstone turns on. So that's not going to work. But one thing that does work is redstone repeaters. So just put one on each and these things are lifesavers. So with your redstone repeaters, you can actually go one block up from those, and when this redstone repeater turns on, it'll activate this block, I mean this redstone, see? So now, each button activates its own individual trail of redstone. So that is how to compress buttons in that manner. And now I'm going to show you how to compress buttons like this. 
Okay, so first of all, I just want to show you that this works. So you can see the wiring. This all goes to these four redstone torches. And you can see each button activates one and only one redstone torch. So now let's go build this. Okay, so you just want to make a 2x2 two two square and put four buttons on it. Then on the back, put four redstone torches. And when we press a button, the corresponding redstone torch deactivates or changes its state. So now we want to connect each one of these redstone torches to its own individual trail of redstone. So on the left side, you want to dig down one and just dig out a few. And you can just connect that to a trail of redstone. And you see that the redstone appears to connect to this torch, but if we turn this torch on, to uh, turn the torch off, this state doesn't change. But if we turn this torch off, it does. So for this one, you can just connect it out like that, and you see that these connect. And to stop that, you just put two blocks above there, or however long you want it, and it'll actually stop those from connecting. Okay, for the top left, you can just put redstone out along it like that. And then you can put two blocks above the bottom right, and it'll stop those from connecting. And then on the top side, you can just do it like so. Okay, sorry, for the top side, you actually have to put the block above that. Because redstone torch will activate the block above it, and then you can just connect it out like that. So, I'm going to bring this up here real fast and bring this over here. So this side activates only that redstone wire. I know it's kind of hard to see, but this side activates only that. The bottom activates only the bottom. And the top right activates only the top right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to compress redstone torches. Okay, so this is a quick little demo that I just made real fast. And you can see each redstone torch is connected to a trail of redstone, and each one has a redstone torch powering it. So if I get rid of this, that torch turns on. I get rid of each of these redstone torches, and the corresponding torch will turn on. Or I can turn any of them off. So let's go build this. And this can be done with however many torches you want. I'm just going to do it with four, though. So place four blocks and then four redstone torches on top. OK. And now, same as with these four buttons, on two of the redstone torches, you can place just a trail of redstone. Okay, so now on the other two torches, you want to place redstone repeaters and then place blocks. So now, above the trails of redstone, just put blocks like that, and that'll actually stop the blocks from connecting right here. And you can just go up with these. So you can just connect those up like that. And now if you put a redstone torch here, that torch turns off. If we do it here, that torch turns off. If we do it here on the bottom, only that torch turns off. And on this side, only that torch turns off. That torch was already... Okay, see. And if we, we can turn them all off, or anything we want to do. So, anyway that is some compression techniques for buttons and redstone torches i hope it helped you and yeah see you next time bye